Hey there, everybody. It is Jessica, the nail polisher. Um, I am going to make a video of my little nail room. This is a portion of my living room that I have set up where um, I do friends and family and occasional clients. Uh, so this is what the front of my desk looks like oh. if you were the client. Um, <clears throat> So I'm gonna to go towards the back of my station and show you guys exactly what I have in here. So this is what it looks like from my side. I've got um, a cabinet here and I have a cabinet here. Um, on top of my table, I have got my pink acetone and then I've got my pure acetone. I also have solar oil. This little dish contains some loose rhinestones. And this dish contains loose rhinestones from when I am doing nail art. Um, I just put those back later. And um, I use this dish for my clients' rings and watches, bracelets, anything like that so we don't lose them. I've got my wax pot my cool blue C and D hand sanitizer. This is my favorite of all time lotion and scrub. I absolutely love the C and D almond lotion and scrub. And up here is my lamp with a daylight bulb. I love this daylight bulb because you can actually grab it and it doesn't get hot. Um, it's perfect for anyone who's needing a lot of light and um, also, it's great for taking pictures. I've got my mask, my uh, rubbing alcohol to remove the inhibition layer of gels and also to dehydrate. And then I've got my hospital grade disinfectant and barbicide so that I can sanitize my station after each client. And then a um, brush right here that I use just to wipe off the dust. And then my electric nail file is hanging right here on the side. And then on top of my station, I have got my nail dust collector. And it's all hooked up. The bottom is my Melody Susie 54 watt UV light that actually has enough room for both hands. I love this lamp a lot. And then on this side, I have got a little container full of wax strips. These wax strips are um, lint free, so they're perfect to use with gel polish so that you can clean off your brush and things like that so you're not getting lint trapped, trapped back up into your bristles. And then um, paper towels on this side so that I can lay that down on my station to prevent any more of these stains. Um, my table does look really disgusting and it's not dirty at all. I just did not take very well care of this. I also bought this table used. So um, anytime you spill alcohol or um, acetone, it just eats right through it and stains it. So once I find a permanent location for my manicure table, this whole thing will be revamped and um, redone. So, let me show you what I've got on the inside. This top drawer has got all my sanitized, disinfected, sterilized, all that good stuff, implements. And then right here is my hospital grade disinfectant where I keep my implements to be sterilized and disinfected. And this second drawer down here is where I have all of my unused nail files and buffers. These are my acrylic files. I've got my orange wood sticks or cuticle pushers, whichever you prefer to use those as. And then a bunch of these curved nail files. These are my favorite. I do love these um, for gel. They're 100, 180 grit. They're perfect. Love them so much. And then these shorty nail files. I got these off of Amazon. I absolutely love these for pedicures um, because when I'm using like a long nail file and people have short nails or well, short toes, you tend to like jab them on one side of their toe and it's really hard to file. So these little ones are like perfect for pedicures. And there's some nail buffers. 
And then here's some more short nail files. Um, and then in this little container is basically um, my stuff that I use when I'm doing my nails or um, practicing. So I keep that separate. And then in this third drawer is got all of my nail art goodies. I have these little wraps right here that I found at the Dollar General or Dollar Tree actually. They're so cute, but I cannot get these things to work at all. I don't know why I can't get them to stick to my nails. Um, so I just save them for little girls to do something quick and easy on them. Uh, this little container has got all of my glitters, tons and tons of glitters that I've picked up from Michaels and Hobby Lobby and places like that. Clients have brought them to me. They're a lot of fun to use in your services. And then back here, I have got rhinestones galore, all kinds of different rhinestones. Um, there's hearts and stars and just regular circle gems. And then I've got some studs. Um, I order a lot of that stuff off of Amazon and eBay because it's extremely cheap. You can get these wheels for like 99 cents off of eBay. Here's the one with a bunch of stars. They're handy to have. Love them. And then, um, these are my more expensive Swartzky, or however you say that, gems. Um, and I get these off of Amazon and eBay as well. And then I've got some 3D nail molds that I have made. And then in these little bitty containers right here, have like these mylar flakes and um, I forget exactly what you call these, but these um, do not tend to stick down to the nail um, as nail art. So you use those to like embed inside of your acrylics and gels and they're really cute. Um, on this side, I've got my sponges for gradient tape, every nail tech needs tape. And then I've got some um, nail guides. So when I'm in a rush or um, need to cheat doing French, these are some fun little guides. Um, and then in these right here, I've got my nail foils that you can either use on the nail or um, you can just use them for making cleaner stripes and lines. Um, there are some dried flowers. These are really cute to be embedded inside of your acrylics and gels. And then back here I have got all of my caviar beads and other bigger items. Fun stuff. There's some crushed shells back there as well. Those are super cute. In my fourth drawer down here I've got more nail art stuff. Got all my nail foils down here and my nail foil glue. Glue, I can't talk today. Um, and then all of my acrylic paints. And then this little dish right here is what I use to do my water marbling in. Um, a lint roller to clean off your stamping heads. Um, it's better to use this instead of acetone. And then in here is what has my stamping heads and things like that and then a pair of scissors and this houses all of my uh, bundle monster stamping plates found this off of Amazon it's very handy I ordered just about all of these off of Amazon as well there's so many to choose from these ones with the blue on them are ones I still have not used yet um, but these are fun. These are really nice once you actually get the hang of nail stamping because it can be very aggravating when the image will not pick up. So it does take a lot of practice, but once you do get it down, it is so worth having those. And they're so much fun to do. And this bottom drawer down here has my um, extra nail buffers. And these are smaller versions, like mini ones. You can break all these little squares up that I take with me when I'm going mobile. 
These are my mini disposable pumice bars. Um, I take everything mini with me out on job sites so that it's easier to carry. Um, some little dipper nail soakables. I don't use these just because they're kind of a mess and a pain to clean up. Um, and then these are clamps that you put the foil, or not the foil, but you put the cotton down on your fingernail when you're removing gel polish. And then you clamp this down on there. And these are my favorite. I do love these. They work great. And reusable. On this side over here, the top drawer. We have everything that I mainly reach for the most. Basically all of my gels are right here. I use IBD hard gel to do my gel nails. I've got top coat, base coat, and then this um, is by Gelish. This nail strengthener I actually use um, when I'm doing the Acrogel method. So I keep a separate gel for that reason and on this side I've got my gel brushes this is the one that I use mainly for when I'm encapsulating glitter or anything like that so I do not get anything mixed into my good brush and this is the good brush that I use applying acrylics I meant gels these are gel polish color pods um, I don't use these actually they were given to me um, you have to use a little brush to polish those on with and it's just weird um, <laughs> because they, they now make the gel polishes in a bottle so I don't use those and then on this side over here I've got a nail brush that I wipe my clients nails off with and then these are all the utensils I use the most I have got a cleanup brush this is from Mac it's just like a concealer brush but this is what I use the most to do all my cleanups with and then this is another cleanup brush that's got a dotting tool on one end this is my fan brush that I use to remove the excess um, acro gel off of clients fingernails or glitter and then these are my three favorite nail art brushes that are tiny and I use these for detail work so these are what I reach for the most when it comes to that and then I have three dotting tools and they have dotters on each side so there are six different sizes so I keep these handy I use these a lot as well and then a pair of scissors for my nail foils or um, anything tiny that I need to use that for and then in the front I've got my antibiotic ointment and my septic so just in case somebody gets nicked you never know it, it happens from time to time somebody gets nicked but you especially when I do it myself I'm very rough on myself for some reason so it is good to have this to doctor yourself up with and then I have an OPI natural base coat um, I use this actually around the cuticles for the cuticle cleanup I don't use that peel off base coat underneath polish I have a black polish a white polish my top coat my base coat and then I have a matte polish that turns all your polishes into matte and um, um, Backscratchers Extreme Permanent Sealer. And then I have a Air Seal Gel Effect Top Coat. Stuff is nice. And then a dehydrator. This is a two-in-one base coat and top coat um, just because my top coat back here was getting kind of icky. So um, SC makes some pretty good all-in-one base and tops. And um, primers right here I have a line be gone this line be gone is really nice because it does eliminate that pesky line sometimes when you are using um, your file you just cannot get rid of that seal line and it's frustrating so that does eliminate it and then a acid primer and my dampen dish and the second drawer down here has all of my acrylics and um, my nail art 
plate, my gloves, cotton wipes. So back here, I have the Back Scratchers Extreme um, Dip Acrylic System. I have used this quite a few times on myself and my clients, and I cannot seem to get it to work. Very frustrating. So I actually just use this for my backup acrogel method. And then this little glass dish right here is obviously where I put my paints and my polishes and things like that when I'm doing nail art, so I am no longer using my hand. This contains all of my gloves. And then I've got my lint-free wipes right here. And then this is supposed to hold your liquid and your powder for your acrylics. Um, in this one right here, I have all of my bits. And this one back here is where I soak to clean my bits. And then this one is where I put a little bit of monomer when I need it. I do not house my acrylic and monomer in here permanently because um, even though these have a lid, they still, the smell still seeps through and it's just too overpowering. So I use a little bit of monomer um, at a time, pouring it in here. And then I use that little, um, I need to use a new one of these each time to soak up leftover uh, monomer. And then I toss that, put it in a Ziploc bag and toss it in the trash. This is the only acrylic brush I have. It's a Kolinsky Germany brush. I think it's a size 10. Um, I've had this for like eight years now. I've taken really good care of it. It's the only acrylic brush I use. I love it. It's, it's perfect. It's in between a fat one and a small one. So that works good for me. I put that over there on the side. And my nail glue. In this third drawer right here has all of my acrylics. I have all of my colored acrylic back here and I just cut these off of the box and kept them so that I'm not having to pull my drawer in and out for my clients. So I just hand them these cards and I let them look through and find what color or glitter or style they want and then um, I can choose that. And then I use C and D acrylic and I also just recently got into young nails so I like young nails a lot I'll be collecting more of those and um, my monomer and then I've got my pink and white cutters my nail tip cutters and my nail foils here down in this fourth drawer I have more of my acrylic supplies that I need. Um, these are molds that I got off of Amazon, I believe. Possibly could have came off of eBay. I'm not sure if you all can see that, but there's like <clears throat> leaves, ice cream cones, flowers, things like that. They're really cute. There's some seashells on that side where you put your acrylic down in there, let it harden, and you just pop them out for some awesome 3D nail art. And back here, I've got my extra sanding bits. You are supposed to take your sanding bits off of your um, electric nail file and replace them with each new client. Um, these stay fine grit, but I have a bunch of different ones mixed in here. And then all of these little containers right here house my um, nail tips. I've got some black ones, some hot pink ones, white. There are some natural colored here. There's pearl in there. And then in this little box, it's got some extra tips. I've got clear and red. And then these little bitty ones are extras that could not fit in here. And then my nail glue down here on the side. And in this very bottom drawer is where I have all of my extra nail bulbs. I like to keep these stocked up because um, when you have a light go out, there's nothing more frustrating than that because then your gel or your polish will not cure properly. All of my extra um, nail dust collectors. And then this little container has got my um, little plastic nails where I can practice nail art or if I get new gel polish in then I can swatch those and then all of my extra um, nail wipes 
Okay, and then over here on this side is my paraffin machine. Um, in here, in this top drawer, I have all of my waxing things that I need. Got my wax off to take that sticky layer off, my wax applicators, and then I cut these strips. These were actually the really long ones that I showed you earlier. I just cut those all down, and then I cut some other ones. They're slightly bigger, so when I'm doing underarms or a bigger section, I've got that. Scissors, and all my little tweezers are hanging out right here, some baby powder. And these need to go with my other dust collectors. And then in this drawer right here is where I put all of my clients no goodies. <laughs> um, this, these bags are full of their implements. It has got their files and buffers, toenail clippers, pushers, and cuticle nippers all in here. So nobody uses the same implements. Everybody has their own bag. And once you become a regular, I put all of your things in a bag. So um, it, everything stays nice and sanitized and clean. And then this third drawer down here is just my extra business stuff. I've got my business cards, keys to lock up my station. Um, that is an old bulb that I had in my lamp. Um, and then I've got some appointment reminder sheets. That is my square reader. And then just um, some brochures here on the side to pass out and extra business cards. And then over here back behind me is my polish collection. These um, are obviously my favorite OPI. So I use a lot of OPI products. And then down at the bottom are all my little um, nail art brushes that I use. And continuing over are more nail polishes. There's my waistband and more nail polishes. So that is a little tour of my um, nail station and the goodies that are in it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.